Hey, what's up, Dragon Ball Radar? Today I'm going to go over how to play DBO the basics. So in this video we're going to cover the basics of attacking, leveling up, doing quests, pretty much anything that people may have trouble in this game. Because I know I did back in the Taiwan days. So let's get started doing some uh, tutorials. So in this game, to click on people, you uh, left click. Any anything, any NPC, any mob, anything that you click on will highlight them if you right click. But if you left click, that will engage in an action. If it if it's attacking, it will attack them. If it's talking to somebody, it will talk to them. If it's doing a quest, it will talk to them to bring up the quest. If it's buying anything from stores, teleporter, any it's an action. Left clicking is an action, so keep that in mind. If you want to get to a teleporter, it will bring up their action by right clicking so even on objects like this home teleport it will bring up an action so that's how you talk to people or engage in action like I said in the beginning of this video right clicking will engage you in whatever you're trying to do if it's attacking talking whatever even items so if I want to use this scooter right here I have to right click it and it will use it keep that in mind also if you want to move items in your inventory left clicking will allow you to move it like if I want to move it to this bar or I want to move it in my inventory anything like that basically and to get rid of items you can either drag it to this thing well hold on I don't wanna to the uh, to get rid of items such as stuff you don't want you can either sell them obviously or just discard them so I'm gonna discard I'll discard this dumpling. So you can either click right here, anywhere on the screen, to discard it, or you can take it to your recycling right here. Same thing. Or you can just sell it. So selling items, I usually just sell everything. So I go to the shop, and then you just right click the items you want to sell. So I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell that. And then I get 27 zenny for that and press sell. Now if you wanted to buy something from the shop, you just do the same thing. I'm gonna buy. I'm, need, I'm gonna buy some of these because I need them. So you just right-click how many you want. I'm not gonna get that many, but oop, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get two. And you just click it twice. Right-click it because that's your action key. So yeah, do that. And press buy. Also, if you've died before, I've, I must have died like once or twice. You you can come to these shops, and it'll say repair all, and basically your armor can get uh damaged if you die. So you come up here and you can repair your items. It costs me 6,000 to re repair all of my items. So now all my items are repaired and your power level should boost from that and everything. So yes. And that's how you buy items, sell items, discard items, and move items. Slash use. So the next tutorial in this will be to show you how to use your scouter because in the very beginning of this game the first quest is to learn how to use the scouter. And some people have trouble with that because sometimes it is kinda glitchy. But basically what a scouter looks like when you do engage it, you click on somebody and it'll bring up their power level, as you can see right here, and it'll scan them. Obviously that's the scouter effect. But to turn it on, you must press T on your keyboard. Right now it's off. As you see, I select them, it's not scanning. But let's say I want to scan them, so press T. Sometimes it doesn't work right off the bat, so you might have to press it multiple times. There you go, see now it's on. And I can toggle it on and off by pressing T, as you can see on my screen now. And to check your own power level, you can't just click on yourself and do it. You have to press C on the keyboard, and it'll bring up your character status menu. And your power level will be right here. My, my power level is 6,580. Or you can go to the menu and go to character. So that's how you check power levels and your own power level. Now the next basic tutorial is doing quests. You probably already know how to do quests. But some quests are different and a little more difficult. So I'm going to pick one of these quests to do. So basically, you can either read this or don't. I like reading them, but for this video, I will not read them. Okay, see, this is the target. Catch Big Flower Monkey. That's where you mainly look at. Then you accept the quest. And then, to know what you have to do, if you didn't read it or anything, press M on the map. It will show you what where the radius you need to go to. It says, right, and I got two radius right here, and it's a big monkey. So I have to go kill eight big flower monkeys. Now some other quests won't have a circle. They might have an X, or they have a triangle thing. 
And a triangle indicates that you gotta kill a boss. X's indicate that you gotta go talk to somebody or collect something. Circles indicate you gotta uh, kill something or collect other items. That is basically questing. I'm not gonna go complete this quest, but basically what you do is you go to the see right here, big flower monkey. Since I gotta kill, I gotta kill eight of those, so you just kill them, and it and it should it should count up to eight. Some quests are a little bugged and they might not count, but this is a beta, so keep that in mind. If it doesn't count, try it again, and it might work. So yes, that's how you quest. So now the next basic tutorial is attacking. So to attack, basically all you need to do is engage in action, which, like I said earlier, right clicking will engage in action, whether it's attacking talking to people or in a shop teleporter or whatever an item anything like that but to attack you just right click the person it'll bring you to them and then you, you engage in combat like this this is just a simple attack right here no abilities or anything to use an ability you must have some skills K, K brings up your skills on your keyboard so as you see down here I have some of my skills down here right here so to use a skill, go to a NPC, uh, go to a mob. Here's a mob right here, and I'll use my terminal slash. And all you gotta do is, like I said before, action is right clicking. So you right click the skill, and it will attack. And then you do that to any skill. Any skill you have will do that. Okay, now that you learned attacking. There are also other skills called buffs, which will give your character certain attributes to make them stronger or like have a different, uh, they'll have an effect on their abilities. So right here, I'll do a buff right here. This is a spirited roar. This will increase physical attack by 10% and energy defense decreases by 5. Basically, it works the same as a uh, attacking skill, but you just right click them and that will engage them. And I got multiple ones right here. And they all have different effects. And as you can see up here near your character, it'll show all the buffs you are currently using. And that will just help you in fights. Okay, now that you know how to do quests, you should be leveling up. And you probably ran into time rift quests. And if you complete them, you'll get special uh, abilities such as charging up, blocking, and dashing. So at level 4, you'll do the charge up uh, time rift. To charge up, you just press Z and hold it. And you see these two bars up here in the top right corner where my mouse is at. I'm like a quarter way charged through my level one. Each of these circles right here, I have two levels of, I have two uh, bars of RP right now. You get more bars of RP the more you level up. Right now I have two. But to charge up, you just hold Z and it'll charge up your bars. So you have a second bar here. Once I get maxed up, your power level will also increase a little bit. But the main use of this is the use of RP abilities. So the next time rift quest you'll come to will be a uh, level 9 I believe. At level 9 you'll be able to get the guard ability. To use your guard you just press R and hold R down. As long as you need it for it it doesn't last forever, but the more you upgrade it the better and then it'll just and then once it does that now it's recharging until it gets all the way down you can't use block again. So basically what block does it allows you to block energy waves if they're thrown at you. But it's really hard to do. I've actually never done it. But apparently that's what it can do. It, it also can counterattack if you timed it right. So keep that in mind. Also, at level 14, you'll counter the third time rift quest. That quest will give you the dashing ability. To dash, you just double, double tap the forward button, the sideways button. So if you want to dash forward, just double tap W. If you want to dash backwards, double tap S. If you want to dash to the left, double tap A. If you want to dash to the right, double tap D. So yes, that's how you dash, block, and charge up. Okay, so to use an RP ability, you must have passed the level 4 time machine quest. You must To use an RP ability, you must have the charge up ability. So you go to one of your skills. I'll do my the very basic skill. You press set RP ability. And then you have, right now I have three. I have increases the skill power by 133, reduces EP cost, and break the guard of opponent. Damage is increased 250% on success. So you just check one of your RP abilities. For this one, I'm going to do increases power skill. And now it has a P circle around it. As you can see down here, it changed. So 
to use them is different than attacking. Instead of just uh, right clicking them, you must hold the right click down. So w when you use your RP ability, hold the right, hold this ability, the ability you want down, for more than a second. So as you can see right here, I hold it down. Then you see that little thing down there, and he will power it up. I'll do it again. See, it does that, and then it will increase the strength of that attack. So you have to hold it for like two seconds instead of just clicking it. And then it will use one of your bars, so then you have to charge up again, as you can see right here. Now there are other types of RP abilities, such as I have this one right here on my Concentrated Kamehameha. I have a knockdown. And knockdown is one of my favorite ones. As you can see, I'm going to go use it. So knockdown uh, causes an, a mob to have a, a percentage to get knocked down by this attack. So basically, you hold it down just like last time. And then it might knock them down. If not, I'll see it knocked them down right there. And that's very effective when you have to attack NPCs if they're like real strong. It'll knock them down and give you a head start. So that's how you use RP abilities. So any ability you have, you just hold it down if you, ha if you have your RP set. And even buffs have R uh, RP abilities too. So yes. Every skill has an RP ability. So keep that in mind when you uh, charge up. And that's very effective for uh, competitive play and everything. So, so now you know how to use your RP abilities. There are also item boxes in the game such as this one. And basically it works the same as attacking. So you just use an ability and break it. And then to pick up items you just right click all of them. There goes the basic tutorial on how to play Dragon Ball Online Global. Uh, if I missed anything, leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to make a part two of this, maybe for more advanced uh, things. Maybe I can show you where some items are, hidden items, rare items. Maybe um, I, I didn't cover how to fly in this game. So maybe I'll show you that eventually. But by the time you get to level 30, you know how to fly. So I might cover that in a, net, a later episode. But yes, um, this is it for the basic tutorial um if you enjoyed this video subscribe like and leave a comment below and that's pretty much it so follow our instagram dragon underscore radar underscore corp all right guys you take care have a good one peace